Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome to the Ben 10 add-on mod review. So, I'm sure some of you are wondering what the hell the Ben 10 add-on mod is. Um, mostly those of you who didn't watch my stream, like, the other day. Uh, but, yeah, this is a, this is a mod add-on for Hero Expansion, which adds Ben 10 stuff. And by ben, by, ten, by ben 10 stuff, I mean all of these, like, clothing pieces and all of the Omnitrixes from the original series. The original series, not the reboot. That's a different thing, which I'll go over eventually. But, let's start with the clothes. So first off, we have, like, these. These are actually, actually, I'll start with these, first off. These are two of the exact same thing. They're just different variants. Because there's two versions of the alien that uses these. They're a gravity thingy that's supposed to appear above your head, but it's not appearing above my head for this one. Does it appear above my head? No, so, so these ones don't want to appear above my head right now. Which is fine. Um, but yeah, those are like gravity tractor things. They like float around above your head. But then we have like all of the Ben 10 gear, which I'm going to grab. So we have all of the outfits, including Ben 10,000's outfit, even though there's no Ben 10,000 Omnitrix. Which kind of sucks, they should have added that. Or at least the uh, Bio, Bio Omnitrix. I would actually love the Bio Omnitrix. They should have added the Bio Omnitrix, god damn it. That looks fucking cool. Um, then we also have, like, the original series Ben 10 uh, shirt. So, like, the old black and white with the stripe in the middle. All of these, like, do... Well, everything except for this one does one armor. Why does this one do two? This is just his jacket from uh, Alien Force. <laughs> and Ultimate Alien, I guess. There, there was, like, two series where you wore that. Um, oh, yeah, here's the shirt from Omniverse. Which actually looks really nice. That, that is a really nice texture. That is actually really well done. Uh, we also have the hoodie from Omniverse, which looks great. Actually, I think. Well, let me take off my head layer real quick. Yes, it is. So yeah, it's even got like a hood or, like, uh, that wraps around your uh, your character. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Um, but now we move on to the Forever Knight armor, which is actually really good armor. Like, look at these values. They even have armor toughness. And it gives you one power, which is the ability to take the helmet off. And of course, there's no, like, Forever Knight sword, because this is an add-on mod for hero expansion. You can't actually... Uh, add weapons in these. Um, I'm gonna leave that one because that one does something weird. Um, but then we have like the plumber outfits. So first thing that we're gonna do is put this on. This is the uh basic like plumber outfit that they wear in like Omniverse. That's like they wear around the base. But then we have like. This one, I'm pretty sure it's like based off the old one. The really old one. Yeah, this is the one that was actually like combat oriented. So if I do this, you can take off the helmet, put it back on. But also, if I aim at the sheep, if you notice I have a laser beam hand. Yeah, this, this, this suit actually gives you the power to shoot lasers. It's very nice. I actually plan to get it on. Another survival thing that we're doing. Then there's the plumber badge. Um, if I hold control, it says it ha gives you these abilities. I have no fucking idea how to how the hell to use it. If anyone knows how the hell to use this. Also, I don't know why it just goes right over your like chest. Is that a belt? Is that what it is? I can't tell. My skin's like pure black. Um, but it's not giving me any buttons to push. 
start. How the fuck do I use this? Count. Pod 5. I don't know what this does. <laughs> I really don't. Does it do something if I pair it with one of the other suits? Hold on. Uh, no, because I couldn't be- I wouldn't be able to pair it with one of the other suits. I don't know why th what that does. Anyway, we also have these, which, yes, all- by the way, I forgot to mention. All of these have, like, crafting recipes, like, this is steel ingots from, uh, from Craft. which, yes, these are add-on- I'm forgetting to mention so many things. Um, these are all add-ons for Hero Expansion, Craft, Sp Speedster Heroes, uh, Electro Bulbs Wizardry, uh, and Pime Tech. So it was like one other, but I don't see it listed here. It was like, uh, Star Tech something? Star Lord or something? I don't know. Uh, you'll be able to read, like, all the mods that you need to download on the Curse Forge page, which will be linked in the description, so... Uh, as you can see, there's Albedo versions of every outfit. So there's the red one. And if you don't know who Albedo is, he's literally anti-Ben. He, he's just the, neg the negative one. So there's the red OVA shirt, which is... Or uh, Ultimate Aliens shirt, I guess. Because this is something that Albedo actually fucking wore. I never remember seeing Albedo in this, but... It's nice that they added it. It's like a red version of the Omniverse hoodie. Which I should tell my friend Jeff about, because he's currently using an anti-trips thing. Uh, which is another thing. That is not in this. But, but I will cover it at some point. So, here's the open suit. When you put it on, you suddenly change sizes. There's one problem with this. Take it off, you do not shrink back down. Actually, I'm curious if putting it on again changes the size again. No. But yeah, this is the open suit. I don't know what this is. Is this a, is this a villain from Ben 10? I'm not sure. Well, let me see. Does this... Yeah, it just has size change. That's the only power. Hey, guys, sorry for the interruption. Um, For some reason, my recording just decided to stop after I got rid of the fucking giant... Giant form that I was in. So yeah, as, as you can see, I'm holding an Omnitrix. It's in the wrong hand, though. So if I click it, it goes onto my other hand in its proper form. Which, yes, looks very flat. And it's currently deactivated. However, once I push X, it'll light up like this and become active. Now, this is the base Omnitrix. However, I'm going to do one thing before I even do anything with it. That one thing is... Well, first we're going to do this. And we're going to push C. So as you will see, there is a code thing in the middle of the screen. This is actually a special thing that you can do with the Omnitrix. There are codes you can input in order to do a bunch of different things. There's actually a list on the wiki for this mod. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is activate master control. So I need to change this to six. Which you use these little side things over on the power menu to change each of the things. They're like rotating the Omnitrix in order to put in the code. And, uh, now I just need to push this twice. And then you push the white button down there, the N. And boom, master control activated. So now I can just do basically everything with this. I have all of the stuff. I can activate everything. I can decouple it. I can... I have to be careful there because both the decouple and the normal thing just... Look exactly the same. <laughs> There's like no difference in their icon. Also, if you push if you push T, you'll notice that you can see like what they say. So this is alien selection. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different aliens. 
And being in master control mode, I have access to all of them, including the ones that are normally locked. So, like, I can do this, I can push B, and I am way big! Damn, I am massive. So, you become, you become a giant. That's what uh, the uh, Pime tech thing is. So, if I look in way big's power menu, yeah, he has all of his stuff. Apparently, I have Stomp and Cosmic Beam locked. It's because I have to level up with this alien. So I push... You'll notice he can't punch normally. Because he's too tall. But if you push X, you can actually punch. Punch. Punch, damn it. So yeah, normally this alien is locked. You have to, like, level up and do a few different things in order to get him. Uh, but yeah, uh, since I have master control, I can just switch in between different aliens, so I can show off more. I'm gonna be doing that for each of the Omnitrixes, because, frankly, the timer is ridiculous. Which, if you're wondering what the timer is, it's literally, if you push tab, you see that 6,000 next to my name? Yeah, that's the timer. Uh, so if I go... Hold on, I don't see. Let, let, let me make sure that all of the all of the aliens are actually unlocked. Hold on. Yeah, everyone except for one. So there's one that is actually still locked. So if I go... I'm gonna need to become an alien again, aren't I? Shit. Alright, let's go... I, th I believe this is Ditto. Yeah, this is the guy who clones himself. Trial and error. Yeah, this th that uses the uh, cloning spell from Electric Bulb Delivery. That is why w this is one. That's one of the mods you have to actually download in order to play this. So yeah, there is that. It does exist. And to make sure my OBS is still recording. Yes, it is. I am not trusting my fucking OBS right now. Um. So is doing that leveling up my? Oh, I cannot level up. I don't think I can level up certain things while I'm in this mode. Uh, anyway, we're just gonna let those guys fizzle out of existence. As you see, they like vanish after a while. Because they just decide to say fuck it and go. And now I'm just gonna de transform. And we're going to unlock the last alien we need really quick. So I need that that code. So I go here again, and I change this first one to a 3. Second one to a 9. This one's going to take a second. Hold on. Uh, Third one to an 8. And one more. And this one to a five. And then I push N. I have now unlocked the last alien that's on the Omnitrix. That's how you get the last one. So I push X. I now have all of the aliens unlocked. There he is. He's right there. I push C. I am feedback. So feedback is weird. He like you like have to charge energy. So I believe I push, I hold X, charge. Yeah, char charge using holding X, and also you can like fly, and of course you Superman fly, but this one has like particles from the. The speedsters. But you can also... Oh, I need to build up charge first. Add of charge again. Then I'll be able to actually shock things. But yeah, he has a few different powers. He's actually really strong. This is a... 
uh, as you can see, that's a that's a master tier spell. That's a master tier spell. Um, but he can also do uh N, which is like a lightning body thing. Yeah, he electrifies his body, but he also has a V, which is just calling lightning down. But yeah, that's all of his abilities. And now let's let's move on. So normally you would just um push this, and then you'd see like there's a recalibration option in here. But I'm just going to. Uh... Wait, why did my? Did something happen there? What the fuck just happened? Okay, um, I guess we're just going to, uh, equip this. So normally you would recalibrate the Omnitrix in order to change it. Well, that requires you going all the way to level 40 and recalibrating it then. I ain't doing that. I am not grinding out aliens to level 40, especially when I'm not getting any XP for using them. Anyway. Uh, actually, did I gain any XP at all? No, I'm even using, even killing shit with, uh, the one guy didn't give me shit. Alright, um... In that case, I'm just going to slap this one on. And then push V to activate it. And boom! Now I have this Omnitrix on. Now this one, I'm just going to put on Master Control because it makes it much easier to use. Um, so this one, you have to do... And there's different codes, by the way. Each code is different. So this one's four... And then it's zero, so I don't have to do anything there. And then two. Right? Am I reading that right? Yeah, two. God, there's so many codes. I'm like looking at the self destruct code and I'm just like, I don't want to put that in right now. I don't want to blow up. <laughs> uh, but then there's eight. Because, yes, there is a self destruct code. Also, I don't want to use it. <laughs> because that causes big explosions. So if I push X. You'll notice that I now have all of the aliens from uh, Alien Force. Which I don't recognize one of them already. What is this? Oh, that's Alien X. All right. So yeah, I have Alien X. Um, Alien X is weird with this mod, because in order to use him, you have to talk to these two, which is lore accurate, because these two always stopped Ben from using, like, Alien X, period. So the way this works is you have to, like, push the button and pray that he actually, they actually, like, let you. Give me control, please. Give me control, please. And currently they're just shooting me down. Motion denied. Yeah, I'm not thinking I'm going to be able to get control of him using the base Omnitrix that he appears in. We shall consider it. Uh, please fucking give me control, goddammit. We must discuss this further. Ah! Uh, I hate these two. These two are so annoying. They, literally, the entire reason they exist is just to argue with each other. Yeah, fuck that. Nope, I'm not... I guess I'm not activating Alien X right now. Alright, so now I know that one's Alien X. Um, but if I push this one... Become Humongasaur! I love Humongasaur. Humongasaur actually looks fucking cool. Um... But yeah, there is one other thing I can do with this Omnitrix that's actually really cool looking. Um, but I'll show you that in a second. Hold on. What's X? Oh, X is grow. Grow to big size. Become big man. There, I push V. I can do that. 
which is a shock wave attack. Oh, that was the wrong button. I want this one. There we go. So yeah, I can detransform. And uh, now we are going to go to here. And we're going to activate one more thing. So I'm going to do nine for the first number. It's just going to take a second. Hold on. And then we go to five. Seven. The Omnitrix changes to red. This is the Albedo Omnitrix. It is literally a red version of the Omnitrix. It has all of the same aliens. Like, I don't see any different ones. Like, but if I push, like, let's go V. I have red eyes, and the Omnitrix icon is red. That is... that is the power. Oh, apparently I can levitate things. Alright. That's nice. And then I push C. I believe this is just damages. Yep, this just locks on and damages things. Also, this is uh this is the brain crab alien, by the way. Try to mention that. So yeah, that's a lot of aliens. I'm not gonna go through them all, because dear god. <laughs> this video would be like hours upon hours. Uh how about we just um if did that mean to activate that? Uh, push B. So why don't we just uh, change to the next Omnitrix? Which I'm going to need this for. So, first off, I do this. And then we go V. And now we have the Ultimatrix. So this is the a Ultimate Alien Omnitrix. So this one has a few interesting things that I can do. So if I go, is it playlist one? Yes, it was playlist one. So if I go to like, um, who has an ultimate form in the old, uh, numbers? I know some do, some don't. Um, yeah, you know, I completely forgot to do. I forgot to do this. So, for the Ultimatrix, I'm going to activate Master Control real quick. Because, again, I want Master Control. So, 10 4107. There we go. I, I, I'm sorry. Did that not work? Ultimatrix 4107. I'm just gonna assume that works. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have the decouple option now. Um, so if we go back, uh, I have these options. And I have all like series one. Uh, ones as well. At least most of them. What looks of it? Who the fuck is that? What is that? Oh, it's the Nanite. This is this this is a character from the uh, old uh, Alien Swarm movie, which which I actually have and I actually really like. Um, so I'm just gonna go back to being a normal person. Um. Uh, I'm just gonna go here, and I guess I'll show off. Does he have an ultimate form? 
No, he does not, it seems. Alright, so not all of the aliens in this one have the ultimate forms. Um, I'm trying to remember who does, though. If I remember correctly, Echo Echo does, so... C. Here's Echo Echo. He has the ability to, like, make clones. He has this, which is his sonic boom attack. He has this, which is he can see sound. See through walls, this is x-ray vision. And then, uh, there's also this. Cloning! But he also has one other ability, because he has an ultimate form. So here's Ultimate Echo Echo. Ultimate Echo Echo has the ability to fly. As you can see, the clone just copies what the fuck I'm doing. Um, he has the same fucking uh, x-ray vision. And he has... Oh, that's the wrong button. He has this. Still. But it sounds slightly different. And it's slightly stronger. So yeah, there's ultimate aliens in this. They exist. There's a few of them. There's like... Uh, let me go and... Uh, let me go Humongousaur. There's Humongousaur. But then there's also Ultimate Humongousaur. Who is a big boy. And uh, looks a lot scarier than normal Humongousaur. So yeah, he exists. Um, he shoots fire. And he has a super punch. Because he's normally too tall to hit things. He has the same same thing as a uh, way big. Uh, but yeah, if I do this and then go back, we can get to the final Omnitrix on the list. Oh wait, first off, I just forgot about this. I forgot there is a security key, which I believe. I had to go here, I think. Is this? How do I use this? I don't know how to use the uh, security key. Do I decouple it? Hold on. Let me try decoupling and crafting it. Um... Nothing happens, okay. Turn this back on. And, uh... Hey, you know what? I'll just decouple this one. Because this one can be decoupled. So I'm just gonna take it off. And now we're gonna slap on the true Omnitrix. So if I take the true one, I can actually do a few different things. Um, first off, we have access to every single alien in the series. Which, if you don't know, all the other Omnitrixes were like prototypes. So this is the final product. So like we have this guy, which is the mummy guy. He exists. He is here. Uh, he becomes sand. So that he can just, like, travel undetected. Which is actually really cool. Um, but, this one actually has some really neat features. So first off... This, there's a few creatures that this one responds to. Okay, I am angry. First off, turn off weather. 
started raining the second I fucking started doing this. Anyway, um, so, I just had this Kryptonian fossil, and I just used it to get a new DNA alien thing, which I was about to showcase, and guess what stopped recording? Fucking OBS. So, um, I'm gonna have to fucking clear my fucking hard drive, I can already tell. Uh, anyway. So, this is the Kryptonian fossil. I used a scan function that was, like, located in... Wait, wait, let me go back. Uh, look at here. It's in this menu. There's, like, a special locator thing here. You can't see it now because, well, I used it already. So, if I push N again, I will go here. And I can do this. This is not an official Ben 10 alien. This is a, literally a Kryptonian. But in Ben 10 form. So yeah, if I run, I have, like, super speed. Not extreme super speed, like the Flash, because Superman is supposed to be slower, but... You know. I have X-ray vision. For, like, as long as I want. I have... Frost breath, which... I didn't even know I could do that. That's impressive, alright. Uh, if I push X, I have heat vision, of course. And if I push C, I fly. Like Superman. Uh, I hate that this, I hate that this is like stopping recording at the worst fucking times. And there's one other alien I'm probably going to have to show you guys because I, there, I'm still figuring things out about it. Um, so first off... Uh, I'm going to spawn this guy. Oh wait, peaceful. That's right, I turned to peaceful because I have other mods on here that'll fucking spawn a bunch of shit on, around me. So I spawned this guy, I can get his DNA. And look at that, there's a new alien in this menu. I'm a Captain Marvel ripoff. <laughs> if you don't know, the Kree are actually, like, what Captain Marvel is. Um, anyway. What this does is, well, I have a lot of powers. I'm really strong. Like, I can punch this guy out. No sweat. Um, but also, I can do this. Which that missed. That missed as well. No, that hit. But also I have this. Apparently that's not hitting. Don't go very far, but eh. I have laser beams, and I can fly. And also that other thing is literally just I charge up energy. I'm not entirely sure how. <laughs> but it does exist. Also I jump really high. So that's that superpower. Uh... Next, I think I'll show you guys one of the more funny ones. Probably one of the easier ones to get. Make an iron golem and you suddenly have... A new alien form. The fuck? Why did I immediately die from that? Excuse me, game? Excuse me? Um, anyway, I guess I'm just twerking out now. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Just kill me real quick. Go. All the way over here. So, occasionally there's a bug. So, yeah, I can become... an... Iron Golem alien thing. Like, created an alien race for the Iron Golem. So yeah, that is a thing. I exist. I just have super strength. That's that's the one power of the Iron, Iron Golem. Uh, 
No, wait, I need to not be in this. All right. Uh, so if I spawn a creeper, they're interesting. Because now if I go in here, you notice I lost my hand and became a creeper. Uh, this is a funny little mod. Also, if I go over here, I'll blow up this nim. Boom. Things go boom very easily. That's too funny. Uh, so yeah, there is now literally a bomb that you can become. Uh, there's, there, there he is. And there's like one more that I haven't shown. The Enderman. So you can literally become an Enderman. I am Ben 10 Enderman. I pushed the wrong button, my bad. Paid X. So as an Enderman, you can just teleport wherever the fuck you want. And also, in case anyone's wondering, yes, the timer does go down. In fact, I've wasted, like, three minutes of it, apparently, because I've been switching out so much. Second I detransform, timer starts going back up. Anyway. Uh, is that everything? Well, that's about everything. Other than, you know, the fact that you can craft the Omnitrixes. They do have crafting recipes. So like this one, you use the recalibrated, the recalibrated needs, hold on, Omni. So if I do this, this one, so as you can see, it takes like Dwarf Star LOA, Black Reinforced, Tri Polymer, Uranium, and Advanced Circuit Boards. This one, you just recalibrate this one into. This one... You have to, like, learn the recipe, and it, like, costs another star. So that does exist. And then there's... Well, the Ultimatrix has a recipe as well. It's just... This one you're actually supposed to learn as well from one of the alien forms in the recalibrated watch. So yeah, that is a thing. But yeah. That is all I have for you. So, uh, without further ado, I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you wish to join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contend that subscribe button. Also, if you want to download this uh, add-on pack, links are in the description. Or, l the link. I'm not going to give you all the mod links, because there's like six. Just look them up on CurseForge. They are there. And uh, they're all 1.12. Everything in this is 1.12. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you wish to join... I, I already said that. <laughs> I was, I'm fucking up my own outro. Anyway, guys, peace!